In many countries, stray dogs are common, but one dog in particular fascinated people with his actions. In Turkey, a stray pup was walking down the street. It was common for him to do this daily as he scavenged for any food or water that he could find. The day had started like usual, with the dog happily trotting down the road, wagging his tail at anyone who looked his way. Despite living on the streets, the dog was actually very friendly and loved to get pets off of people passing by. As the animal made his way down one particular street, he suddenly smelled something delicious. He followed his nose until he found himself standing in front of a butcher's shop looking through the window. The dog watched as customers bought considerable chops of meat for their dinner. Looking at the food made the dog realize how hungry he was and caused his stomach to let out a loud growl. Inside the shop, a young woman called Annie, who was finishing paying for a couple of large steaks, thanked the butcher and made her way out of the shop. Once outside, Annie started walking down the street toward her home when suddenly she heard a loud gurgle and a whimper. The confused young woman turned around only to see the stray dog looking back at her with sad eyes. Once again, the canine stomach growled and Annie knew then what the problem was. The dog was a stray and a very hungry one. Seeing the hungry animal, Annie immediately felt terrible for it. She looked down at the steak she'd just bought before marching back into the butchers and asking for any cutoffs or bones that the man wouldn't sell. The butcher happily gave the woman what she wanted. Annie exited the shop and looked around for the stray dog. She soon found him, watching her from a distance. The woman crouched down on the ground and carefully held out the bone that she had gotten for him. Now at first the dog was cautious and didn't want to get too close to the woman, but the longer that she held the food out to him, the less the animal could resist creeping closer to get the meal. Finally, Annie managed to gain enough of the animal's trust that he started wagging his tail and accepted the large bone off of her. But instead of eating the food right then and there, the dog picked it up and began walking off as if he had somewhere to be. Confused about the canine's reaction, but not wanting to question it too much, she stood back up and made her way back home. The next day, Annie was walking down the street when she noticed the same stray dog from yesterday. The animal seemed to have noticed her as well, and came happily bounding up to the woman with its tail wagging. And she smiled at the dog's enthusiasm for her and began to fuss over him. Unfortunately, the young woman had places to be, so she couldn't spend too much time with the animal. Before she left, though, she made sure to buy the dog some sausages from a nearby shop. But once again, the dog didn't eat them straight away, and instead walked off again. Annie was curious about the animal's behavior. However, she didn't have time to follow him and had to go about her day. Instead, on the third day, Annie once again found the stray dog. Only this time, it looked like he was waiting for her. The woman had started carrying treats in her bag in the hope that she would be able to give them to the poor stray. The young woman smiled as she approached the dog and gave him the treats she had. This time, when the dog turned around and walked away, Annie began to follow him. They eventually came to a busy street, and Annie watched as the shaggy dog made his way over to a storm drain. The dog sat down next to the drain and looked down into it. He then dropped one of the treats that Annie had just given him into it before eating his own. The young woman was very confused. What was the dog doing? For the next few days, Annie would find the dog sitting and staring into the storm drain. Whenever she brought the animal some treats, he would always drop half of the food into the drain before eating his own. Eventually, Annie became so curious that she decided to go and take a look for herself as to what was so interesting in the drain. But she never expected what she found. Annie crept over to the storm drain, wary of the dog who was standing guard next to it, but the canine simply watched the young woman curiously. Once Annie was directly above the drain, she looked down into it and gasped at what she saw. Immediately, the young woman reached for her phone and called the fire department. She would definitely need their help. Roughly half an hour later, a couple of firefighters showed up and asked the woman what was wrong. She explained to them what she had seen, and the men quickly got to work. They walked over to the storm drain, but at that moment, the stray dog began to growl at them. 
not wanting to be bitten, the firefighter stopped. They didn't know what to do, but luckily Annie did. She carefully walked up to the dog, reassuring the animal that the men were only there to help. She then held a treat out to the canine, and when he finally approached her to take it, she grabbed a hold of him to keep him away from the drain and the firefighters. With the stray out of the way, the firefighters got to work opening the storm drain up. At this point, because the drain was in the middle of a busy street, a crowd had formed around the firefighters to see what they were doing. After a few tense moments, the firemen finally revealed what the stray dog had been so focused on inside the drain. In one of the firemen's arms was a tiny kitten. All of the bystanders were shocked, but that wasn't the end of it. The firefighters ducked back into the storm drain four more times. Each time he came up, another kitten was in his arms. Annie was astounded at what she was witnessing. She knew that something was down there as she had seen it when she peeked in, but she had no idea that five tiny and adorable kittens had been stuck. At that moment, the stray dog managed to wriggle his way out of Annie's arms and bounded over to the firefighters with the kittens. As soon as the dog saw the small felines, he began wagging his tail and sniffing them. The kittens mewed back at the canine. Annie walked over to the firefighters and asked them just how such young kittens ended up in such a predicament. The firemen told her that they were likely swept into the drain during heavy rain. But considering that they had been trapped, they weren't starving. At this piece of information, Annie looked over at the stray dog and knew that it was thanks to him sharing his food every day that the kittens had survived. Seeing such a kind act of selflessness, Annie knew what she wanted to do next. She told the firefighters that she would take the kittens home to raise them until they were ready to be rehomed. The firefighters agreed and gave the kittens to Annie. The young woman then began to make her way home. Before turning around and calling out to the stray dog, Come on, Benny, she said, it's time to go home. The canine happily bounded up to her. Annie looked after all of the kittens and found four of them loving homes when they were old enough to move. She kept one for herself as she had grown to love them dearly. On top of that, Benny finally had a home to call his own as Annie had fallen in love with the shaggy dog and couldn't bear to leave him on the streets after what he had done for the tiny felines. The family lived happily together with neither Fudge the cat nor Benny, the slightest bit worried that they would end up on the streets again, as Annie loved them too much, and they loved her just as much.